Right guys, so as we know, we're getting towards exam time now, things are getting a bit more serious, so it's time to knuckle down and really improve our studying performance. So in this video, I'm going to give you three different tips that sound really obvious that are going to change the game for you when you are studying. Hi guys, my name is Neil Bruce, I am an accounting and finance graduate from the University of Dundee and on this channel I try to give as much university advice as I can so that you guys can have a better experience than I did. And if that sounds like something you're interested in then make sure to subscribe down below but without further ado I'm going to get into these three points and trust me they will change everything for you. So number one, sounds very obvious but you should definitely do it and this is putting your phone in a different room to the one that you're studying in. We all know that our tendencies to touch our phone and go on our phone are absolutely off the charts and especially when you're doing something you don't particularly want to be doing, you're always gonna be looking for something to procrastinate with or look at rather than study because that's so much easier for your brain to do. Your brain is always gonna default to the easiest thing it can do. The easiest thing it can do tends to be scrolling through Instagram or Twitter or whatever your social media of choice, TikTok, very popular. So to nullify the effects of the mobile phone, put it in a different room, focus in on your studies, and if you want to have a little break and go and use your phone, then you can, but if you leave it in a different room, it'll stop you from using it all the time and breaking up your flow. Procrastination literally is the killer of so much productivity. So if you can take out the main influence of that, then you will be flying. The second of these tips is to use exercise to boost your studies. Now, I know from experience, whenever I've recommended exercise to anyone, their first response is, Ooh, I don't want to exercise. Which is a natural reaction because, you know, you don't want to exert more energy before you're studying. Oh, that's going to tire me out. But studies have found that there are two main benefits of exercising which can improve your studying performance. The first of these is that exercise literally releases endorphins in your body that reduce stress and increase happiness. And who doesn't want to reduce stress, especially in this period going up to our exams? And the second is that it increases blood flow to the brain, meaning that your brain is popping off, you're having more thoughts, you're thinking harder, you are literally focused in more because you have more blood flow to the brain. So I urge you to give it a go. Even if you're someone who absolutely despises the thought of exercise, at least give it a brisk walk outside for 15 minutes before you start studying and I guarantee that it'll put you in a better state of mind to get your studying done. And the last of these obvious tips is to plan out your day, plan out your studying. And the reason that I think that planning is so important when it comes to studying is that so many times you'll hear about people that are studying for hours on end and kind of getting burnt out. And this can help nullify that. So say that you've got an exam in maybe 10, 15 days, you can plan out how much studying you're gonna need to do each day to cover that topic and see where you are with everything. And this will allow you to not study too much at the start and then study too little at the end because you're burnt out and vice versa. It'll allow you to see how much you need to do now and not leave it all to the last minute. Another great benefit of planning out your studying routine is that you can plan in your breaks. Think about the amount of times that you've been sitting there studying and then you lose track of time because you are too in depth into it and then you miss lunch or you miss a meal. That is not gonna help you at all in your exam performance. Planning a deadline, planning the end of your studying day is gonna help you so much because then it'll allow you to kind of detach yourself from that and go back into your normal life. When you have no end point to your studying, it can almost seem like there's a blurry line in between your studying self and your personal life. And that's kind of a work-life balance that you need to get over with revising, because if it's too blurry, then you're just gonna be having a really stressful time all the time. And you really do need downtime in exam periods, because otherwise it can get a bit overwhelming, and then you're just never going to perform as well as you can. So guys, that wraps it up. I really hope you've enjoyed these tips and implement them in. I really hope you have a great exam period. I'm sure you'll all do absolutely fantastic, as long as you follow 
follow these tips of course. So if you have enjoyed, make sure to like the video down below, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, I upload every Monday at 6pm, so if you're interested then that's the time to be here. But thanks again guys, have a great week and I look forward to seeing you back here next Monday. Cheers!